Damon uh, uh, directed a music video for the, I believe she was a lead singer of the, of the group Climax, uh, Joyce Irby. And he did a, a music video for her. He, he was, uh, he was going to be interested in directing. So, he, um, so through my, again, my relationship with uh, Jim, uh, Jim Fishman and his company, um, they brought me in to edit a video with Damon. So I was able to spend, uh, spend a few days with, with him and, and um, edit his video, which was, it was, it was a, you know, there was comedy in it as well. I would hope so. And, uh, and then shortly thereafter, he, uh, he contacted, Damon on his own contacted me to edit his HBO special, which he had just done. And I, that, this, like you say, that was 1990. 1990. So, um, so it was, it just, it was just a, a, a great opportunity just to, to, to do that. And, um, uh, I'm not. Uh, that, I think that yeah, that's the only HBO special I've done. A, a cla actually, a classmate of mine from Cal State Los Angeles, Mike Schultz, is now he's now and, and he's also an Emmy winner. Um, we went to the Cal State of LA at the same time, but he he's really the the concert and comedy guy. He yeah, but uh, he's really um, great, 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 great at, at at doing that. But doing the the, the that special with with Damon was was. Uh, Damon, like I hang out with Damon. One great, I, one thing that had me fall in love with Damon Wayans, even though I just thought he was really, really funny, was we were editing the music video, and uh, uh, we were just watching some footage, and he pulled out a stick of gum, and it was like his once, and I, 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 you know, I wasn't, I just turned to him, and I was not because I was coveting his gum or anything, but he, I just turned to him, and he, he offered to tear it in half to give me half, so I like, no, no, I'm good. But uh, from then on, it's like yeah, this this guy is really, really, really great. Um, it has nothing to do with the production, but I I just really enjoyed just working with him, and I just thought he was very, very, very funny. So did you sit together and edit it, or did how how did the process work? Editing you know, I I uh, you know I I I don't know if I can really take in any credit other than just being an audience, really. But because there was a line cut, and you know, the line cut was the is the cut that's done, um, you know. At the location, you know, there's a, a live television truck, and then the, the, the director, she she uh, she, you know, directed the line cut, and we took that, and then we just shaped it. We shortened it a little bit, um, and I, if I remember correctly, th there may have been one or two. There been some some parts of, of of the show that were that we shortened a little bit, um, and but uh, and and uh, just smoothed it out. Just, just had it be create, you know, just shape it into a show. But uh, if I, if anything, I just, I, what I was able to be was just an opportunity, you know, just to be uh, an audience for him. Which, you know, uh, is this is this a thing that um, if, if if people have, are able to work with an editor, uh, or if you're an editor looking or interested in becoming an editor is that you, the, a valuable thing that you can provide is being, being the audience is, 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 cause the way, I, the only way I'm ever, ever able to watch anything when I'm in the edit room is I, I have to watch it as a viewer at home. Uh, that, then that, that gives me my compass that tells me which way is north? Is this is this good? Is this bad? Do I want to see this? What I? Why am I even watching this? Uh, so uh, and I, it's it's not, but it's not something you can necessarily fake. So I, I whenever I watch something, I, I always just try to be mindful of like what's my initial impression? Like what's the first thing that that it doesn't even have to be logical? Like what's just my visceral impression of something when I first see it? And uh, and and try and remember that, and and be able to relate that to whoever it is I'm working with, and uh, and so you know my job is when they ask me what do you think it's not to say you're brilliant, uh, it's uh, unless they are, uh, but my my job is really to, is to is is to be honest in a way wherein we're all still confident. You're all so confident. This, this, overall, everything's great. This particular part, it, it could be a little rough, uh, uh, but it, it, but, uh, uh, but, uh, uh, recognize that that uh, my point of view, my personal point of view, is valuable. Because uh, again, like I say, just uh, like for, uh, for instance, like a writer, a, a writer has to have their own taste in order to write something. If they're, but if they're writing 
something for if that's an assignment if you're a journalist or if you're a screenwriter you're, you might be writing for a show that may not be your cup of tea but you you kind of put yourself in the mindset of what that show is and and you need to deliver that similarly for an editor is that is that I have my own tastes and I have to be mindful of what my tastes are but I also what I can do every single time I, I, I start a show or start a new project is how do my taste fit inside of this other thing uh, so uh, uh, Coming back to, to Damon Wayne's show is that um, is that I, I I enjoyed his his sense of humor and his what he what he was presenting. Now, how can I contribute? How can I be valuable in this process by 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 you know recognizing like what what works and and if and it's not necessarily like I'm going to tell him how to write a joke. It's like how can we have this really good joke uh, come up against this other really good one, but even though we had to, to condense it for time, how do we do that in a skillful way so that we're, a, we're able to appreciate both of them? Um, which is, is, you know, how do you, you can't really see that in a textbook. It really is, I have to come back to, I'm at home watching it on my couch. Like what, what is, what works better than, is it this or this?